Now to this, a landlord on Chicago's south side is speaking exclusively to WGN-TV to bring attention to what he believes are racial tensions in his neighborhood. Tensions, he says, has led to incidents of gunfire and vehicles being firebombed. WGN's Patrick Elwood at Area 2 Police Headquarters with more on the story. Patrick. Mike and Ray, good evening to you. The gentleman you are about to hear from, as you mentioned, says it's something you would hear out of the 1960s, that kind of a storyline with racial tensions with a twist. But yes, definitely police are investigating gunshots and at least three cars that have been firebombed. You can see there, we've got a bullet hole. That is Michael Taylor describing the volley of gunshots occurring out in front of his West Pullman neighborhood building last Friday night. Two young black men come out. He says the two young men were attending a party there. A car pulled up and robbed one of them. And asked him his gang affiliation and he said, no, I'm not in any kind of gang. They, he emptied his wallet. You know, his pockets, he gave him his wallet, his cell phone, all of that. Taylor is the landlord of this eight unit building he purchased last fall. Since then, he's made some improvements to the property, brought in some new tenants. No one was hurt last Friday night, but within hours, this car and another of his tenants would be firebombed. He and the man who was shot at believe the suspects are Hispanic. Taylor says it is the result of racial tension that's been happening over the last several months. His tenants are black, living in what is a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood. It's domestic terrorism as far as I'm concerned, right? And it's a hate crime. Taylor says another black tenant had her car firebombed in January. She has since moved out. He can't fathom what's happening here in this working class South Chicago neighborhood. As far as I'm concerned, we're all on the Titanic. We're all in the Lord decks. What are we doing fighting each other? That makes no sense. So his tenants were a little bit too frightened to uh, talk to us on camera. Uh, police do verify that they are investigating all of this and several shell casings were found outside of that property after that incident last Friday. Reporting at Area 5 Police Headquarters, Patrick L with WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Patrick. Town of Cicero facing a lawsuit after.